guys, Panavates here, and I'm here with a big review today. All right, we are going to be doing the Cotton Bacon Prime. That is right, guys. There is a new cotton bacon out, and it is called Prime. And we are going to be comparing textures. Um, the we're going to I wrote it down. <laughs> Um, we're gonna see how it tastes, how it, how it wicks, um, the oh I said textures like the fluffiness of the comparison, um, how there is a if, um, is there a break period where you have to like puff it and like actually like blow on it, saturate it, blah 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 to get it like vapable, kind of like um the anger rabbit for the, the anger rabbit, um. Cotton was like you kind of had to like work your juice in, otherwise you would get like fire. <laughs> that's happened to me, and I'm not exaggerating. I literally almost vape fire one time with that stuff, but it's just because I didn't like the cotton wick long enough. Whatever, we're not here for that. Um, anyways, and we're gonna see how it holds up. I'm gonna let you know how, how it holds up in tanks and how it holds up in low ohms and high heat. Loans, I hate to basically the same thing. And I also, I've been vaping on it, so I have two RDAs. I'm going to show you vaping on it since yesterday morning when my mail came. I put that that cotton right in my my um wicks and um I mean in, in my coils, and I'm going to show you how it's still holding up. And it is about 24 hours later and okay so I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you and then we're going to I'm going to wake um I'm going to wake for you and show you all everything that's the cotton's got to offer and stuff like that I don't know it's my first cotton review and I'm really really excited I'm very I want to thank uh, Wick and Vape for giving me the chance to do this review for them thank you and for all this cool stuff they gave me yesterday it was awesome valentine's gift and thank you alright we're gonna go down bottom and do the review alright I'll see you soon alright guys so we're down down at the table and I'm gonna show you the um difference of the cottons if you can notice it um there isn't a big difference in the actual texture except one thing I did notice is if you notice and if you use cotton bacon you notice there is always a um there's a flat like a pressed part where it separates as you, you can see there's like a pressed area and usually that part you have to comb out with your tweezers that to get it nice and fluffy. Um, with the cotton cotton bacon prime, it is just fluffy. It is so like it's it's just fluffy, fluffy all around. You, I didn't even have to comb this out yesterday when I used it. It is just amazing. And let me see if I can move my light a little bit so you can see it a little better. Um, yeah, it is just an amazing cotton. Yeah. Um, so there is a big difference, but the cotton bacon, um, to the cotton bacon, what is it, 2.0, there it is pressed, and you do have to fluff it out. The cotton bacon prime is just so fluffy and and I, it's just it's a lot better. I've no it, I've noticed a big difference in the cotton bacon prime. I'm gonna wick two um two devices. One is a <laughs> Travis decided to give me this humongous tank to wick and so for the tank users and I'm also going to wick a RDA which the RDA is the what is that called? The, the Banza. I'm going to be wicking the Banza and 
the the tank. I'm not too sure what the tank's name is. Um, let's see if there's a name on it. it. Has like a cool dead like rabbit eye. This thing, it's humongous. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Travis. Love you. All right. Um. So yeah. So. I mean, the textures are definitely different. This is just a lot fluffier, and there's no breaking ends to where you have to actually comb it and when you um wick it. This obviously has break. You see the pressed areas where it separates, and it kind of you know you would have to comb that out when you wick. This doesn't have that at all. It's just fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. All right. Cow, the cotton bacon 2.0 is obviously still delicious. It had, I am not, this review is not to put down the cotton bacon. It is just to announce the new cotton bacon prime and how, and show the differences in it of that unbelievable happen that cotton bacon can actually get better, which I honestly didn't think there could be a, a better version of cotton bacon because I just love cotton bacon. Um, I'm a big fan of it. So, all right. So this video is going to be a little longer because I am wicking and I am showing um, differences and heats and all that stuff. I mean, in um, tanks and RDAs. So I do apologize. Please watch through the whole video because this is a big one. All right. Let me get my cottons out. I'm actually probably going to fast forward this part because you just don't need to see it. You should obviously see that I am using cotton bacon prime. I am not fooling you guys at all. Do this. I just basically wanted to show you guys that I was using, I was actually using, um, the cotton I was supposed to be using. I was not doing anything. I have no tricks and using the old cotton. That's basically why I want to show you that my wicking. Oh, crap. <laughs> my bad. I will probably forward all this. Because, yeah. I don't like doing this in front of you guys. It's embarrassing. Really embarrassing. <sighs> All right. 
right, I don't know what you say is that. Um, Let's use the one. So a super big tank. the one, let this sit a little bit while I do this other one. And I won't be using the one for this one. I will be using a stew. It's so fluffy by Bait Wild. Because I will be doing a review on this today, so I might as well might as well have it on here. All right. So yeah. With the cotton juice. Well, with the cotton, not wick. Okay, so that's nice and juiced up. So I got to say, I like the bonza like this. I covered two holes. Sorry about if it's messy. I'm not very good at juice, um, juicing up my stuff. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to um, take it back up top, and we're going to, I'm going to tell you how it tastes and how it tastes whole tea, and I'm going to show you how, well, I won't be able to show you how it looks in the tank afterwards, obviously, because it will leak everywhere, but I will show you what it looks like after bathing on it and in the REA and with the duck. And also, I have two RDAs that I've been vaping for since yesterday around this time. So it's been about 24 hours of vaping on it. And show you how it held its shape and all that stuff. All right, I will be back and I'll take you up to them. Okay, guys, we're back. And as you see, everything's the same. Um, it is still the day after Valentine's Day. All right, we are. Um, I'm going to show you how it. How the, we're going to do. If there if there was a break period, and I just wicked this, and there, I'll show you. So I do not like this e liquid, but. <laughs> Let's try it on. There is definitely not a break period on the um, RDA with the It's So Fluffy from Vape Wild. And let's try the tank. Open some arrows. Oh, okay. The 
great with the um the tank. The flavor is amazing. It's actually a really good tank. And that's in a already a, a, a rebuildable tank, guys. And I, I mean, I didn't even think I was going to do it right because it's such a fluffy um wick. I kind of like stuff the holes, and it's it's wicking fantastic. And I did not re-wick the um the coils whatsoever. I just put the juice in, and that was it. And it wicked that fast. I'm really imp impressed. I actually forgot to wick the coils before putting the RDA, the um, rebuildable tank on. So that was my mistake, and I could have totally got a dry hit, and I didn't. Wow. It's just wicking so well. It just keeps wicking and wicking. I'm getting, like, more juice each time I'm vaping. Yeah, clouds, baby. It, it vapes fantastic. This this cotton is phenomenal. The taste is great. You do not taste cotton whatsoever. Just like the original baking cotton bacon, you don't take, have a cotton free a first cotton hit, a cotton nasty taste of cotton at all when you vape on it the first time. You get flavor. That's all you get is flavor. Yeah. Um. Now, obviously, you see that I got it on Mac Mods. The take and my builds are low. They're like a point zero eight in this one. I did a point zero eight build, and I'm not too sure about this build, but um, I do low ohms and it handles low ohms very well. I do not get dry hits whatsoever. I don't get burnt hits at all. It takes it very it, it's very good it handles um high high heat very very well and um I've had this since yesterday around the same exact time I, um actually I get when I got my mail and I get my mail at the same time every day so it's been about 24 hours and let me just show you guys. It's a little messy because I just pulled the lid off. Sorry. But let me. I'll show you another RDA too that it's vaping. It holds its shape really, really good. I mean, that juice is, that sugar is in there. <laughs> this is the one, obviously, it makes your cotton really dark. But yeah, it held its shape really good. It hasn't swamped or uh, like def went like yucky, like. You know how it gets flattened. A lot of cottons get flattened out after, um, and I'm, I'm, um, I'm, blah, I can't think. <laughs> I am. Oh my god! What the hell? I'm squonking. <laughs> god, I know you guys out there were like squonking and squonking. Yeah, I'm squawking on this, and it held its shape beautifully. And I even show you a, another RDA that I'm using. Okay. It holds the juice so good. Oh, I love it. This is another one, another high heat um, build and high heat mechanical mod. This, I mean, if you know Snow, Snow Girl. It, it's a hard hitter, so. Actually, her batteries are running out. But, yeah, let me show you. It is. Let me take the top off. Let's not do that. Let's just put some more light over here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is good. I mean, the shape is, I'm, I mean, I need to drip, but the shape is really, really nice. Yeah. 
it definitely holds its form. Um, it definitely handles high heat. It definitely can. It's great in a tank. I mean, it's a flavor in a tank. It's even. It's. I'm not a tank person, but I'll probably be using this today, even though it's kind of heavy. Flavor is so good in a tank with this cotton, and that is that is very important that it wicks good in a rebuildable tank. And I'm not good at doing rebuildable tanks whatsoever, but this made it made it so easy because it's so fluffy and it's so light that it just wicks right up. And you've seen it. I put the lid right on it. I didn't even re-wick the pre-wick the cotton before putting everything back together on the tank. I just let it sit until I did the other one and boom, it was ready. And that was like not even a minute. Um, so yeah. It is, it's, I, get, I recommend this cotton 110%. It is, I mean, I, I still love the norm, the regular original, of the 2.0 cotton bacon, but this cotton is just very unique because it's so fluffy and you really don't have to do much to wick your cotton, your coils. You don't have to fluff your ends if you don't want to. It's still going to vape. It's just as good, um, and it is just a really, really good cotton. It is phenomenal. I, I did not think cotton bacon could get better, and it did. It blew, it blew me away. I definitely, definitely recommend this cotton to ever anybody. Cotton bacon prime, guys. Go out and get it. It's freaking delicious. It is very good with the cotton. I mean, it's like. I'm so I'm so happy I got a bunch of bags of this because I love it. I definitely am going to be re wicking the rest of my um quote my RDAs because I'm like one of the people that have tons of RDAs and carry around. I'll be re wicking the rest of them with this because it just tastes delicious and it wicks very well. Guys, go out and buy this um uh, wick and vape. Um, you can get this. Uh, sorry, I wasn't prepared about this. Get this at lightningvapes.com for 10 strips, $6.99, one bag. That is a phenomenal price for this. But $6.99 is a, a fantastic price. It's actually out of stock on Wick and Vapes website for $6.99. I mean, for 10 strips of this, and they're nice and fluffy strips and not no cheesy strips. Let me show you a unused strip. I mean, sorry. You get a strip this big. That is a phenomenal size. That's a great size strip of cotton. For and you're getting a big bag for six ninety nine. That is a fantastic price. That is a great price. And I definitely recommend you get it. You can um on eSig. On ECD, it's out of stock, but you can get it on at lightningvapes.com for um six ninety nine. You can get wholesale reps on. You can get it on wholesale if you are in a store and you want to purchase brick and vape. I will definitely be telling my the stores I order from regularly to go to to be ordering this for their sites because this kind is it is a great. It's delicious. It's just, like I don't even have words for it. So yeah, six ninety nine. You can get a bag this size. So that is a fantastic price. I recommend you go get it right now because it's going fast, guys. Everyone wants it, and everyone's getting it. So don't be the last one out and missing out on it because you will be very sorry. I'm telling you, uh, I'm making prime. Go get it. And again, and always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And please get your friends on board on my on my um, YouTube. I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed giving it. I'm sorry it was a long one. I wanted to get all the points out there so to show you how good this bacon, cotton bacon, prime was. <sighs> Delicious. 
right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.